Welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do lots of Nespresso videos, including recipes, reviews, hauls, as well as subscription box unboxings and hauls of other things too. So today we are doing a Nespresso haul and we're in a different place than we usually are for Nespresso videos and I'm super excited. This box is ginormous. I may have gone a little overboard, but there's no such thing. We're always gonna drink the coffee, so. I of course know what I got, but it's always fun to unbox it together. So I have my packing slip and of course I got my first Ice Legeros in my last haul and we loved it. It was so good. So I got some more um, just while I was making this order. So I got two Ice Legeros and they didn't have Ice Forte in stock yet when I ordered that. So I ordered two Ice Fortes to try. They must have been separated, but I did order two of these, I think. So I stocked up on like our regular coffee too. That's why the box is so big. Um, we were running out like pretty fast. So I ordered three Stormios for my husband. He likes like darker coffees. So Stormio and Intenso are his favorite ones. And if you aren't familiar, Stormio is a eight out of 11 intensity, but intensity doesn't mean that's like how strong the coffee is. It's just how strong the taste is, if that makes sense. So the next one is, like I said, Intenso. So we got three Intensos for him as well. We got some more Intenso, like I said, and the Stormio. So this is a new coffee for me. I'm pretty excited to try it. I've been slowly getting like a couple ones from the Master Origins collection. So this is Costa Rica. And I love the boxes that they're doing for Costa Rica. I think the top of it is this color, which is really pretty. And it says that it has highlights of a multi-sweet cereal character, which is why I was excited to try this. Cause like I said before, I like the cereal notes in coffees a lot I've learned. So I'm pretty excited to see what that's like. This is the Grand Lungo size. So it's like a five ounce. I haven't really experimented that much with that size. So I'm excited to see what I can do with that pod. This is the other ice forte that I got. I like how they like write this on here like that. It looks really pretty. So then I also got a bunch of Bianco Leggero because this was back in stock and I was so excited. Um, I think I got three of these. We also like Bianca Forte a lot, but they were out of stock, so I couldn't get any of those even though we are out, but I was excited to get the Bianca Leggero. And if you're not familiar with it, it is a um, double espresso size. It's really, really great with milk. It's really good to make like flavored lattes with and stuff. So it's, that was pretty exciting. I am so confused. I feel like there's like another box inside of here, which I don't remember ordering something that would come in a box. So this is the sample that I got. This is Lozio and Voltessa. Ice Forte and Ice Leggero was the other sample option for the Vertuo line. So it comes if you haven't seen them before. They come like this and I just think they're so cute. But I, since I already ordered a bunch of those in, that, in this order, I decided to pick up this one. I'm gonna put this down because I'm not sure what is in here. Oh, you know, I think I ordered six Melozios, and I guess it comes in a case. Who knew? <laughs> so if you order six, it might come in a case like this. Melozio is the coffee that I prefer in the mornings for work. Okay, so I got six Melozios, and they just all came in this box. I had no idea that would happen, but I guess that's good to know for the future. I also, of course, got a recycling bag. I have a couple extras, but I like to keep them on hand in case I run out. And the reason I got so many pods is one, because we were running low on coffee, and then we noticed I was buying a lot more espressos than we were using, and we were running out of the coffee, like seven ounce size, a lot faster. So we wanted to stock up on the coffee sizes, and there was a deal to, like I said, I always buy them when there is something I can get for free because I'm always gonna drink the coffee. So I got 20 pods and the free item was this, which I had been wanting to get. I just like couldn't justify spending $20 on the recycling thing. So getting it free when I was like already gonna drink the 20 packs of coffee made sense to me. <laughs> So it comes like this, it is all wrapped, and it was just inside the larger box. 
I'm pretty excited because I've just been keeping the bag like below my counter, which is kind of gross maybe, I don't know. So we'll see how this works. Oh wow, okay. So there's like a clip on the side that I just like opened. Oh, there's one on each side, that makes sense. So there's a clip on either side. Got it. Oh, that's my cat. <laughs> so, just comes like that. Definitely smells like it was like just out of the factory or something. I might have to wipe it down. So just like an empty plastic container that probably, hopefully, perfectly fits their recycle bags. And it came with the recycling bin information inside. You know, always good. Don't know what we need that information for. If you couldn't get it open <laughs> and the instructions were inside, that would be something. Let's see. That's annoying. I didn't, if I, if I had known this, I'm glad I didn't pay for this because I would be annoyed if I knew this. I assumed there would be like a flap, like, or like a hole that I would put the pods in, you know? But it's, this is like a lid. So one, there's a handle, which that's nice, like it makes it easy to move around. But I thought this would have like a flap or like a hole or something that would be easier to put the pods in. And it's not like this is that hard to open, but I don't understand why it wouldn't just have like, like a door, you know? Like the, what's the point? I, it's a $20 piece of plastic it's supposed to be a recycling bin, but like, it should it should have a door. Like, what engineers do they have working on these things? Anyways, that is an unnecessary rant, but um, let's see how the recycle bag fits. So one of the things about the Nespresso website that annoys me, other than the recipes, if you have not heard me complain about that, is when you look at their accessory section, like of course, you know, their machine section and coffee section have a pretty detailed description of the items that you're getting. But when you look at their accessory section, the details and pictures are minimal. Like the cups, there's like one picture. And the like details about the cups, there's not very many details. Like I wanna know, is it safe to put in my dishwasher? Can you show me a close-up of the plate? Like, I want to know what it looks like. Can you show me how this works and not just give me one picture of it? That is very frustrating to me. I don't know, like, I if I'm going to spend money, I want to know online, and I don't have a store here that's easy for me to return it at, I want to know, like, more about the product than they're giving me on their website, which is kind of a little frustrating, but I'm still going to buy products from them, obviously. So, I'm a little disappointed in the lack of information on their website. So we're gonna use the recycle bag because what's the point if you don't? And Okay. So we're gonna see how this fits over it. Okay, it's a little tight because on the back side, it's kind of not fitting. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of had to like push it because you can see like this is kind of not letting it go down all the way, but it's just a tiny piece of plastic, so of course you can fix it. It's fine. It works. We'll see like, some of you guys might not care. Like I wish I had found more information about this before. I. I didn't purchase it, so I'm not so mad about it. But if I had paid money for it, I would be more angry. Like, I guess it's a little easier to open once it's on. Looks like a normal, like, special trash can, whatever. I think it'll work. I shouldn't have ranted so much about it. <laughs> but um, I definitely wish that it was, like, a door on top rather than this cap thing. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me but it has a nice handle. I fit my recycle bin in there. We will report back how it works after I fill it up and then try and take it out and see how that goes. <laughs> so
so I apologize guys for ranting about that recycle bin for an unnecessary amount of time I hope you enjoyed seeing what my regular coffee selections usually are what's your favorite coffee from Nespresso is it a Virtuo or original line coffee leave it down below and I will see you next time